Hi, this is Michael Uslan. You're listening to Batman on Film. I'm vengeance. I have given a name to my pain. Welcome to episode number 126 of the Batman on Film Social Hour podcast. And in this case, uh, there's a video version. Obviously, if you're watching it now, there's a video version. And you can see I have a special guest. This is my mom. Wow. This is, this That's is, all right. This is the announcer. Payback. The announcer is here. As a special guest, and this is uh, a podcast we're going to do for Batman on Film's 25th anniversary, and the announcer is going to ask me 25 questions, 25 bat questions, and then maybe me or y'all will ask her some things at the end. All right, we're going to rip this off pretty quick. Let's go. I have to put my glasses on. Okay, what's your favorite Batman toy that you have in your office? Because there's so many. Okay, they're not toys, they're collectibles. They're toys. They're collectibles. Now, if you go into Target and you're looking for a collectible, what aisle are you going to? A lot of times they're in the collectibles aisle. There's not a collectible aisle. There is aisle. a collectibles aisle. It says toys. No, there's a collectibles aisle and the same thing at Walmart. They have them, they have them in a certain location. They're toys. Continue, uh, sorry. No, it's not a toy. It's not, a, it's not really collectible. It's the letter that Christopher Nolan wrote me after... Oh. Uh, after the Dark Knight Rises, and it's right there on that shelf. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh, why haven't you named one of your dogs after Batman or a Batman character? Hmm. Because we've had dogs named after Elvis, and we've had dogs named okay. after the Cowboys. Okay. Okay. Why it, not Batman? It, it's okay. That's easy. It is, um, I've had girl dogs, so it would be hard to, I'm not going to name a girl Selena, a girl dog, that's a cat name, uh, so that's the reason, it just hasn't, because I've had girl dogs, female dogs, that's, that's exactly If we got it. a boy dog, you'd name uh, a dog Bruce I or Wayne? I, I, Bruce Wayne. All right. Bruce Wayne. All okay. right. That's already in my head. It's been we'll in my head. We'll see if that happens. Um, favorite comic con memory? I don't have many. <laughs> I don't like comic con. We're going to get to that next. Uh, probably you and I went in 2006. Mm -hmm. My first time. And... We were there was a Superman Returns panel with Brandon Ralph and uh, the director Brian Singer and Richard Donner in Hall H, which is a nightmare. And it wasn't that no, though. but in 2006, you could literally be we could be sitting at a bar in the gas lamp district and then decide to go 15 minutes before the uh the presentation and walk right in so yeah that's probably my favorite because yeah that's it worst comic-con memory getting dropped off me and you getting dropped off is the last time we went oh. we got dropped off and walked and we got stuck in a place where we couldn't get up on the Con the, air, the the entryway in. We were down in the main road in front of the... Remember that? Yes, I remember. And the police wouldn't let us come up. And yeah. we had to... I don't know how long we had to walk and come around to finally get in. Yeah. So why do you hate Comic-Con so much? I don't say I hate it. You've said I'm, you I'm, hate it. I'm annoyed. He said he's hated it. I'm annoyed by Comic-Con. Why? Too many people. Um, it got too crazy. 
Isn't that a good thing that there's a lot of people there though? Yes, but it it's it was it became more about movies and TV than comics. Now it's going back to that. And I'm sure there's probably less people because they didn't have the big Hall H panels for the movies and stuff like that. It annoys me. It annoys me. Okay, the we'll big move, the big we'll one. Move on. I know I'm not going back. You can only have one love, present company excluded. Batman or Elvis? No. Yeah? No. Yeah? Batman. Batman or the Cowboys? Cowboys. Cowboys. You don't have a Cowboys on film site. You have a Batman on film site. That's that's not that's not a fair question. You said nothing was off limits. Fine. You're picking Cowboys. I, final fine. answer. Fine. Yes. Okay. Um, when did you know you had a lot of followers? Like, when did you know this site was? When it was big. Bigger. Yeah, when it was big. Went to the gym in 2007. And I got a call on the, on the cell phone. It's probably a flip phone then. <clears throat> it was a 213 number, area code, which is California. And I answered it, and it was um, Warner Brothers. And wanted saying they liked the website and wanted me to come to the Batman Begins. No, I take it back. It was not 2007. It was 2004. You go back even further. I did not have a flip phone in 2008. Uh, it was 2004. They're filming Batman Begins, and, and I got invited to the set. So I went, okay, this has become something a ne- different level. It was Darren Oaksbury. Oh, we love Darren. Yes. I have Shout a, out to Darren Oaksbury. I have, and his wife. Yes. I have a story, so if you have time, yes. you can ask me that at the end. Okay, um, the suit. Notice I didn't say costume. The suit, black or blue? Black. Why? I agree, by the way. Why would Batman wear a blue suit? Exactly. He's, and, and even in the comics, he, it never was supposed to be blue. It, there are color limitations in the 30s and 40s when Batman came out when they printed the comics made it they had to use more blue than black and it's just like Superman's hair Superman does not have blue hair he has black hair but you look in the comics there's always a bluish tint to it so yes and he's the dark knight Knight, he's the dark dark. knight that's how he started out the Batman Yes. You no no okay. blue. No okay. blue. Um, favorite Batman character, not Batman. Can be from like live action. Bruce it can Wayne. Be... Okay. Favorite okay. Batman character, not Batman or Bruce. Man. Uh. Commissioner Gordon. Why? Jim Gordon. Because he's Batman's ally. Okay. And he's his friend. It's okay. like the only friend he has, I think. Favorite Nolan trilogy memory? Like your memory from covering the Nolan trilogy? <laughs> you know trilogy. that, Dylan. Well, okay. And I've told well, the we'll story. Well, take out the interview. Well, there's... The... Obviously okay, the favorite, meeting Christopher Nolan, but the like... Favorite, yeah. Even more than that one-on-one, which was really a one-on-one, because she was there in the room with me, at, with Chris Nolan. I was so nervous yeah. because I thought that I knew that you were going to ask me to take a picture at the end. And sometimes when I'm under pressure, I don't do a very good job. And I thought that I'm going to mess up this picture and it was going to be a one-shot chance and you were going to be so no, it, not happy. I still have that picture. I took a good it's picture. Right yeah, I know. Okay. Um, besides that, um, when we saw the Dark Knight Rises at the press screening in Hollywood and we left and we had to turn in, I had to turn my phone in and I got it and turned it on and I had got a message from Emma Thomas saying that they had knew by that time I had seen the movie and they had hoped that, um, they had, they had done Batman right by 
in my opinion, I guess that's, I don't forget how she worded it. So yes. And it made you tear up. Yes. That's a good memory. Okay. Favorite movie of all time. It doesn't have to be Batman. Like just your favorite, like Bill's favorite movie of all time. Can be one from your childhood, one you recently seen, like favorite movie of all time. Or do you have like categories of favorite movies? I mean, hmm. It gotta be. Dark Knight. Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Yeah. Of all time. Well, you know what? It might not be a Batman. It, it might be Superman the movie from 1978. Really? Yes. Why? That was a big deal when it came out. It was a big deal. And I was 13. And I can't... It shit was a big deal. And it kind of... Um, that's when I was still a hidden comic book fan. Hidden, hidden Superman. Super, not super, superhero fan. So probably that. But yeah. I'll just go with that. Okay. You're going to give an award. We're, I'm a teacher... You know he's a he's a retired teacher. Coach. So every year, coach, a, a coach I and a teach. teacher. Yes. yes, football coach. Every year at the end of the year, usually a teacher and coaches give awards to their students or their um, kids that played for them. So we're used to this. So I want you to give an award to each of your BOF contributors. I'm going to say name, and you're going to tell me what award you would give them. Okay? Do you understand the assignment? Yeah, I understand. Okay, here we go. Garrett Grev. Um, what award? You know, I'll, I'll say this because it, it's it, you're, you didn't get any time to prep. So award or if you want to like give an adjective to describe yes. them. So Garrett Grev. Super nice. Ryan Lauer. Dedicated. Javi Tri, Tri... I can't say his last name. I'm sorry, Trio. Javi. You've been in Texas how long? I'm sorry, Javi. Javi. Die Hard Collector. Oh, he likes toys. You like toys too, Javi. <laughs> Justin Kowalski. Talented. Joanne Hyde. I have a lot of adjectives in my head. Who are we missing here? I'm not done yet. Oh, um, Miss Hyde. Um, I can use this. I can have used a different one. So I can use the same one twice. It doesn't matter. Great writer. Ryan Haas. Smarter than me. And Pete Vera. Boudin Pockets. Okay. Oh, I forgot me. Announcer Rachel. Um, tolerates this. <laughs> Pete, uh, besides Boudin Pockets. Oh. No, Pete is uh, uh, loyal. He's okay. Loyal. Yeah. Three adjectives to describe Batman. Three adjectives to describe Batman. Dedicated. Persistent. Badass. Is that a noun? Or that can be an adjective too, right? Yes. Okay. I'm an English teacher here, so yes. Okay. What's your definition of a hero? Someone who's selfless will and puts them puts others and um, and puts others before them. Okay. For good. Who were your heroes growing up, and or heroes of yours today? Batman, Roger Staubach, Elvis. 
That's it. Okay. You said when I was growing up. Or to, I mean, like. Oh, that's still. Just, I mean, that's, still, I'm still, I'm still a kid in, in my mind, I right? Mean, we know. Okay. Um, why should kids read comic books today? There's a lot of controversy. I'm not going to get into it about children reading different genres of books and such. So why should we have comic books it's a, it's in a, classrooms it's, it's a, or at home? It's a, a classic medium just like novels that you are that are taught in school or books you've had to teach in, during when you've taught English. It's the same level. And you can start kids out early. I, it helped me. I learned to read through comics. I looked at comics before I could read, and that's what I kind of looked. I'd buy them. My mother would pay for them, and I looked. But it helped me. It helped me learn to read. I learned. I knew how to read before I went to kindergarten, probably mainly because of comics. Okay. Could Batman be Batman without Alfred? Not the Batman that we know and love. Could Batman? We've seen that. Read Batman, the Imposter, and you get some of that. Could Batman right, be Batman without right, Gordon? Well, hold on. Right, Ron Lauer, Batman the Imposter. Yes, what now? Could Batman be Batman without Gordon? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Why? I thought you'd say no. Um, he might not last as long, but yes, he would be Batman without Gordon. But no, okay, I'll change that. No, he could not be the Batman we know without Gordon either. Okay. Why do fanboys get mad about stuff so much? Why is there so much really why is there so there? much drama? You may go there. Well, I mean you don't have to go there, but like fandom why? and I'll just say it's fandom in general are passionate and a lot of times irrationally about the things that they like and love. And they a lot of times a lot of people live in bubbles where they think everyone thinks like they do. It's like, I don't get how anyone doesn't like the Dallas Cowboys because I'm a fan. But I'm also realistic and I know that, yeah, there's people who are fans of other teams and people just don't like the Cowboys for whatever reason, mainly because of their legendary NFL franchise who won five Super Bowls. But yes, that's it. They they don't get they don't get that 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 not everyone thinks the way they do and likes what they like. And I try to I have tried over the years of doing this to try to point that out and also um, sympathize and educate at the same time. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, it does. I just it, I just taught something right there. You did a teacher at heart. Yes. Are you a fanboy? I am, yes, but not, I, I would say I'm not what it's become behavior-wise when people think fanboy now. It's become kind of a negative because there's people act a fool. Oh, I know. Act a fool. So, no, I'm not in that regard, but yes, I am. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. You may have discussed this on BOF yeah. with your guys. But will there or should there be a live action Robin? Yes, because it's important. The character is important to the Batman, Batman history and Batman mythos. I mean, even Chris Nolan knew that you had to have some version of Robin for it to be Batman. So he had the John Blake. Robin character in The Dark Knight which Rises. Was perfect. Which is just as legit and valid of a Robin as Dick Grayson and Jason Todd and all Tim Drake and Damian Wayne. So um, it depends on, and it also, the ad adaptation of Robin has to be based on 
the tone of the film. So would you like to see a Batman Robin team up live action movie or would you rather be there like a focus on Rob Robin movie only? I, I I have no interest in a Batman movie with a 12 year old Robin. If you do Robin, you got to, I, I think we're going to get that with the brave and the bold, but that's beside the point. Like you're not going to see Robert Pattinson's Batman running around with a 12, with a 12 year old in an orange tunic and, and uh, pixie boots, but you may get some kind of version of Robin. No, like a John Blake. Yeah, maybe younger. You know, I thought Batman Forever the way they did it in Batman Forever with Chris O'Donnell. He was supposed to be seventeen. That that that's that's more. That's more um, realistic. Okay. Do you see that ever happening? Oh yes. Probably, absolutely. Okay. Because I mean, I like Robin. Although I don't hate Robin. Just not. I like a solo Batman. Okay. I like Batman Dark series solo, no sidekicks, none of the Batman family stuff. Anyway, if you're listening to this, they know that. Whoever's listening. Okay. Do you like Robin? I don't hate him. Okay. I don't. I liked the setup in The Dark Knight Rises of John Blake. Like, I could get behind so when, yes. that. So when she said... So, like, if there would have been a fourth movie and 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 he, uh, Christian Bale... Had and that, yeah. He, he would have had a partner. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would have been on board with that. Yeah. But, you know. So you liked it, because I didn't even know it was coming in The Dark Knight Rises. When she said, you should go by your, your, yeah. your, your first name, yeah. Robin. Yeah. Okay. Who would you like to interview? Like, what's your wish list? Uh, Matt Matt Reeves, right at the top. Okay. Matt Reeves, that's it. I'll There's be good. no one else. I've done interviewed Chris. I've done interviewed uh, Mr. Uslan. There's some others, but like, that would complete complete it if I could interview Matt Reeves. I think I know the answer to this question, yeah. and probably all your people know as well. But who's an interview that you wished you would have done? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, I wish he was there when I went to the set in 2007 in Chicago. Ah, yeah. oh, that's who I thought you'd say. Most awkward interview? David Goyer. Why? Elaborate, please. Well, it was him and Jonathan Nolan. You, you've met him. Yeah, he's very nice. Yes. Um, Chris's brother. They were together. It was Dark Knight. And... I couldn't get much out of Goyer. Um, and not really, I was trying to ask, I wasn't asking dumb questions. I was asking Batman. I wasn't like People Magazine asking, like, what do you do when you get home and you ha and what do you, what do you order for take, you know, for takeout or whatever? Any nonsense questions. Um, he just didn't seem to be interested in answering. So it was Jonathan who answered most of my questions, which were directed at, at both of them. So, yes. Okay. Last Warrior. question. Yeah. What is something you wish for BOF? Wish for BOF? <laughs> well, I would hope it, it it's, has a place in, in Batman history. I think it already does. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna say that. Well, I'll say when it when I'm gone. Especially there's a you know it's has a legacy. It has a legacy. So let's see. I think it does. I think there are people out there that would say it does. Are you looking for questions for us? Yes, I will. Um, Okay, there's two questions for you. Javi Trujillo, who you butchered his name. I'm sorry, Javi. <laughs> what is your, and it kind of, it goes to what something you said. What is your favorite piece of memora, memor, memorabilia? I have a hard time. Words are hard sometimes, y'all. Favorite piece of memor, mem, memorabilia. Memorabilia. Yes. And my 
He says Bat Cave, but the BOF home office. Okay, that's easy. That's easy, Javi. I don't know what year it was. What? Um, when were we at the what man's Chinese theater get uh, watching Christopher Nolan get his? Well, hand, he got his hands in yeah, the same. Yeah. Um, what year is that? It was 2012. That was when we were out there for Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so we were out there for Dark Knight Rises as press, and we were behind the um, little like gated area like we were on the side of the important people even though we weren't the important people um because because he was interviewing um, there was that's shit there was a vip section for spectators okay and we were there emma, emma had us there yes and you were interviewing emma and chris yes and i was taking pictures for you yeah okay and while that was happening christian bale was walking around signing autographs for fans. And so because I was on the same side of the rope as he was, I took a uh, Batman poster that they had sitting out and I presented it to him and I asked him to um, to autograph it to Bill. And so where is it? It's over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. So and then after that, I had it framed and he yes. hung it in the office. Yeah. That's my favorite. Okay. That and the letter from Nolan. All right. There's one more. Hold on. Okay. From Stephen Helm. He was at the Batman on film. The watch party for uh -huh. the Batman. Uh, who's your, who, in your opinion, is the best actor to play Batman? Christian Bale. Okay. He's my Batman. That's I liked everything about him. That's because you rode the elevator with him. I did. So, and I did not fangirl out either. No, but you made it. When we walked in, my back was to him, and you were turning, you, your eyes got like silver dollar size. Well, I couldn't say, hey, Bill, just, turn around. Look who's in the elevator we were with at, us. We were, I needed to give you a sign, like a bat yes, signal, we, saying, we, look who's here. We were at, without saying, look who's here. We were at the Beverly Wilshire where the, the press junket was happening for the Dark Knight. And so we got there the day before. We had saw the Dark Knight, and then all the interviews were the next day. And we we're going up to the top. I probably, I guess it was the penthouse there. I'm not. And it was a big open area. That's and where they had all like the Warner Brothers people. You got to hang out. Here's, and have here's how and it's stuff. all connected. I later found out Elvis used to stay at the Beverly Wilshire, and he, he and he did. would rent that top penthouse area when he was making movies. So it's all connected. Anyway. Um, I said, okay, this is the first time I had taken her to the press junket and she, to a press junket. And she said, and I said, well, I said to her, uh, look here, you're about to see a bunch of people that you, that you know, <laughs> we're waiting for the elevator when this happened. And I said, so, you know, act like you've been there before. Wow. Like I've ever given you reason I, that I would I was just giving, I was giving you a heads up of what was about to happen. And just as I'm saying that, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say act like you've been there before. I just said, I, "Don't freak out, Rachel." That's probably what I'll you said. Yeah. So don't. Yeah. So just as I'm saying that, the elevator door is opens up, and it looks like it's full. And we said we'll wait. And someone said, "No," and in an American accent, "No, come on in. We got room." I went in. She went in front of me. She was facing. And my back was to the door. It closed, and that's when I saw her look. And I turned, and it was Christian Bale, kind of working. The buttons there. Speaking in American accent because he was filming he was filming that Terminator movie that he was making at that time. So he stayed in character as uh, John Connor and, and continued to talk in an American accent. And there was a little boy in the elevator yes. and he was very polite and asked the little boy like just nice questions. And I think Wally had just come out and so he asked him if he had seen Wally yet. Yes. <clears throat> he was very nice. That's, I, I like people who are nice. And so when I saw that, yeah. I mean, he was like a nice guy. So I'm like, okay. Yes. Like, he, if he would have uh, been an ass, I would have been like, I don't like Christian Bale. Yes. So. And he he wasn't that, I, I guess I was thinking that he was going to be a bigger guy. <clears throat> he wasn't like all that big. He's six foot tall. He's yeah, I know, height. but you're six foot tall. Yes. So yeah. I just, I just expected. You like, expected him to be Batman. Batman and yes. comic book Batman. He's yes. six, six. Two six three and looks anyway. Get me on a tangent. All right, so 
I'll ask you a few just a few questions because it's Batman on film related. You've got what? What's the coolest thing you got to do through Batman on film? <laughs> can I, can I Man of Steel after party? Can I, I'm just can asking. I speak? You. Yes. Can I have a couple? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one. Well, the, okay. Well. Man of Steel after party. You didn't have to be one. I got my picture with a drunk Kevin Costner. That's true. That was cool. Still have it. Saw the picture. I think you were embarrassed that I was going to get the picture, but I was getting the picture. And you took the picture, and you took a good picture. <laughs> I did. Anyway, that was really cool. That was fun. Um, oh, having lunch with Mr. Uslin at Dick's Last Resort in San Diego. Yes. During Comic Con. That was very fun. That was cool. Um, and probably the whole um, press junket thing for that Batman movie. Dark Knight? For the Dark Knight. Because we were going like from room to room. It was like, oh, go through this door and you're going to see yeah, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Go through it. this door and you're going to see... Um, I, words are hard now. Gordon... Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Um, we sat down and it was like she was a good friend of ours and visited with Emma Thomas for a while. Yeah, and that then, was another one on one. Oh, and then the whole taking the picture of Christopher Nolan, but that was really just how like that whole went down. It was like this secret thing, and we couldn't say anything because it it would make the other press mad because the other press weren't getting what you were getting, and so they took us into this hotel room. It was a larger hotel room and. We're just sitting on the couch waiting and you're like giving me all the instructions and I could tell you were nervous. And then I guess his publicist walks in and then he follows her. Yeah. And I was just like you're talking to your like your best friend. Yeah. Like you just sat down at the kitchen table and you all shoot the breeze yeah. shot the breeze and I sat on the couch sweating it out, knowing that I was gonna have to take a picture. That was cool. You went to all you went to all those rooms. You got to I mean, it was even not even a question, like who's this who's this here? No, it's kinda like though I was like like almost like I was working for you. Like I was like, yeah, up, well, I no, I know that's not how you presented it to me. Felt, but like I would, I would sit on a couch with all of the publicists, the Warner Brothers of the people actors. Knew who you were. But yeah, yeah, they sat. Probably people thought you were a publicist, like because they were all just on their phone texting. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, and also another cool memory. This isn't well. This is kind of Batman related. We're in. What was the Comic Con that we were at in San Francisco? What's the name Wonder of it? WonderCon. We were that's at WonderCon. That's, uh, that's when it was in um, San Francisco. WonderCon, and we sat at a round table that was literally the size of like a kitchen table, so it was small. And it was like you and me, and then like somebody from People Magazine, somebody from Entertainment Tonight, and then it was Anne Hathaway and. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. Oh I was going to say Michael Scott. Yes. And they were talking about the... Get Smart. Get Smart movie. And I, like, I was sitting this close to Anne Hathaway. Yes. That was, that was, that was cool. I, well, it reminds me, I talked to her for that and for Rises. So, and yeah. she was lovely. Yes. She's very nice. And gorgeous. The, the whole thing was very nice. I mean, everything I got to do these 25 years... Is awesome. The only thing left, I got to interview Matt Reeves because love the Batman. So, when did um, when did I tell you about Batman on film? When did you tell me? It was before we were married, right? Yes, I think we were in the dating phase. You probably you probably told me right around the time you broke broke my heart when you told me you were a Dallas Cowboys fan, and I, Garrett Grev. Was a Vikings fan. Well, you knew I was a cowboy fan. I grew up in. I was from that doesn't Texas. mean that doesn't mean anything. People grew up in Texas and aren't Dallas okay, Cowboys fans. Okay, what what team do you pull for now? What, well, the what, Cowboys. You, My money goes to the Cowboys. Cowboys. I have to live with you during you, football you season. I want them to do, do you well. You wear cowboy gear. Yes. Okay. Do you go to cowboy games? Yes. Okay. All right. I do want the Vikings to do well, though. Like if that, it doesn't affect the Cowboys, fine. I pull for the yes. Vikings. That's fine. So, all right. Who created Batman? Don't ask me those <laughs> things. 
Say that. <laughs> Can I? Say that. No, is that wrong? Say that. Promise. Bill Finger. Right? Pretty much. Bob Kane. Oh. With Bill Finger, but really Bill Finger created Batman. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, what's your favorite Batman movie? Um, well, I like the whole trilogy. Dark Knight trilogy. Yes. You like, do you like the Batman? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You like Batman. You like anything animated Batman? Lego Batman? Does that count? Yes. Okay. Lego Batman movie. movie was good. Yes. And you, what's your favorite, non-Batman favorite superhero non-Batman movie? Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. Yes. All right. You're going to ask me that question I asked you earlier. What's that? When I knew BOF had gotten to be big. I was going to ask you that? All right. I told you to ask me that. Okay. Because I, I asked I, you I that. just did. Okay. Just, yeah. So when, what year did I go to Comic-Con for the first time? 2006. So it's 2006. We had been over at the convention. We were taking a break. You needed to write something. So we left and we just like walked across those like train tracks, you know, that are by the convention. And there was a hotel <clears throat> right there. I know what you're talking about. That was 2007, the next year. Mm. That was the next year because they, they were filming Dark Knight at that time. Okay, let me finish the story. Okay. So we walked across the train tracks and you needed to write. And we weren't staying at that hotel, but... We went to that hotel. It's like right a, there. there's an yeah. outdoor patio. Yeah. Play. You could sit down yes. on a couch and they'd come yeah. and bring you drinks. Yes. So we went there. You sat down. You started typing. And I was just sitting, waiting on you to finish whatever you needed to do. And I kind of looked off. You know, I was watching people because there's still a lot of people there. I was watching people. And I saw like this young adult and younger boy like running across the train tracks and they're like running towards the hotel and I'm like oh I hope everything's okay and they kept on getting closer and closer I'm like they're I'm kind of looking around thinking well maybe they like know people here and then they finally come over and he says the older boy who is probably like an 18 19 says jet are you jet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so you got up and you like shook his hand and he said that he was looking forward to trying to find you at Comic-Con and he was so glad that he found you and he introduced you to his younger brother who he took to Comic-Con and you shook both of their hands and I don't know why we didn't take a picture. Like I should have said, yeah. oh, let's take a picture. You can put it on the website. But they we didn't. Just, they had just had that, remember they had that viral stuff that was that part of the Why So Serious? Oh, yeah. And they had the, those planes fly over and they put out the phone number you had to call mm -hmm, that was so that was yeah that was the next year 2007 okay and in my head i'm thinking dang people know <laughs> like, me this random guy was trying to track you down and and shake your hand so that was cool yes that was nice and you were very nice to him i am nice despite despite what a lot of people think you are yes um what what's your favorite batman comic book there's only one answer because you you've only read one Batman comic book. I didn't like it. Year one? Yeah, I didn't like it. You didn't like Batman. Well, okay, you told me to read it. You told me wait, wait, yes. wait. You told me to read it and that I was gonna get on here and talk about it. So I read it, and then you must not want to announce Rachel on here like talking about comic yeah. books because well, you I didn't, didn't. You, you never. Didn't, I didn't. You never told me what you thought about it because we. Well, I'm gonna tell you right kept, now. We kept putting it off. And I it felt off. like it was. It was mainly about Gordon. And I it felt is. like kind of he was an ass. Yeah. And I didn't like it about him. Like I, after reading that, I'm like, well, now my whole opinion of Gordon's out the window. Like I thought he was a great guy, and here he was, like, woe is me. I'm gonna go cheat on my wife. Weak. No, I didn't like it. I didn't like that like version of him. Okay, fair enough. My life sucks. How am I gonna make my life better? Oh, I'm gonna go have an affair. Okay. I didn't like it. Well, that's part of being dark. Am I going to get hate mail now? Noir, dark, gritty, grounded. Well, I didn't like it. You didn't like, you couldn't tell that the Batman was influenced a lot by year one, just in tone. And the fact that Bruce Wayne, Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne kept a diary. Remember he kept a yes. diary in that? 
Okay, yeah, I get all that. Okay. I'm just telling you that those are my initial thoughts. Okay. I'm also not a big I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for this. I'm not a big comic book, like graphic novel yes. reader. I rather yeah. just like read yeah. regular chapter books. Okay. Sorry. All right. Well I'm gonna next one is Hate uh, mail you can send to him. I'm gonna we're gonna do I'm gonna have you read Dark Knight Returns. And then maybe Long Halloween. Yes? Okay. All right. That's enough for this. So, uh, announcer Rachel is going to take us out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. No, just do a cold. Do a, do I the, can't. Do the cold read. I don't, I don't remember do it. I have cold, to go back. Yes. I know. I just recorded one. You can you know, play that You know one. what it is. You know, thanks for listening to the, the Social Hour, a Batman on Film podcast. Follow Jet on Twitter at or oh, tweet, X. Tweet tweet him yeah. at X. All right. We'll get... And do yes. all those things. All right. Thanks for watching or listening. We'll catch you next time. Bye. You have been listening to the BOF Social Hour, Jet's official podcast on Batman on Film. Follow BOF on threads at the Batman on Film. Follow BOF on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Batman on Film. To help keep BOF up and running, go to patreon.com slash Batman on Film. Or you can buy BOF a beer at buymeacoffee.com slash the real Batman on Film. For Jet and everyone at BOF, I'm announcer Rachel. Authoritative, definitive, the original Batman on Film, founded in 1998.